Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to I Am The Fifth Element. My name is Juan and I'm here to do an energy read for today, which is April, actually it is May the 2nd, my goodness. So May 2nd, 2022 is our read for today. I cannot believe it is May the 2nd already, guys. All right, tapping into today's energy, it is a four day. Fours are all about family, stability, home, and foundation. This four is made up of 13 vibrations. Super interesting. So 13 is always the Luminous Council. And the Luminous Council is a council of 13 luminous beings that assist God with the management of this realm. And so 13 is heavily, heavily, heavily uh, represented in this read today. So our message is going to be something along those lines. Song associated is God is Good by Jonathan McReynolds. Our message, let's go ahead and get it. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, angels of the highest love and light, you are welcome dear. Please fill the space. I'm here to do an energetic read for Fifth Element as a collective for today, May 2nd, 2022, using me as the channel. Please give us a clear and concise message. You know how I read. Thank you. May your troubles keep you near the cross, okay? May your troubles show you just how much you need God. May your battles end the way they should. May your bad days prove that God is good. Strong, strong, strong. I feel energy strongly, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I feel initially. This is about um, someone getting ready to receive karmic recoil and the um, energies that have been impeded or affected by their negativity is actually wishing that God is um, gentle with them in their correction, okay? It's the energy that I have, okay? So I've already told you that 13 is heavily represented here. Ones are about new beginnings. Threes are about connection and communication with the upper angelic realm. Warbler brings this download today, which is all about focused attention, but also heavily um, represented here for the warbler is your voice carrying huge weight and the ability or the need to speak your truths without worrying what others think. There is power in your voice. Never let anyone or anything intimidate you or stop you from voicing your opinions. Warblers teach how to raise your voice with confidence. At 1211, the birdie song was saying, and again, the birdie song is a cardinal song, and it's only saying when, they're, when they are celebrating your works on the angelic realm. This song was at 1211 in the afternoon, matching exactly a um, 1211 um, download for lack of, better, of a better word, from the other day. So directly connecting this with the Taurus New Moon reading. This reading, I'll say it again, is directly connected with the Taurus New Moon reading. And I'm not sure how many days, House Finch, ago that reading was done, but the feeling they give me is that it was three days ago. So three days ago, and it takes about three days to cook in the ether. So three days for angelic movement to actually be felt here on the tangible or natural or material realm. This birdie song at 1211 is directly connected to that new moon reading heard at 1211. You are called to take a leap of faith in God. That was heard at 1211 in the new moon, the Taurus new moon reading. So now this birdie song is at 1211. So this leap of faith that you were called to take, you actually took it. And now the angelic realm is celebrating you taking this leap of faith. 
So this 1211 coding I felt as a direct communication from the one two, okay? So 11s, ones are like conduits. I believe conduits were discussed in that reading also. So ones are like conduits to the upper angelic realm. The more you see, the heavier your connection. So the 12, the one two. So the spiritual po popo communicating about this direct communication with the angelic realm. So what I heard was direct communication from the one two, and that was heard at twelve thirteen. Gives me a feeling of progression. So progressing from twelve energy to thirteen energy. Twelve is the jurors with one as the judge. 13 is the Luminous Council. So both are the Luminous Council just in different capacities. And it lets me know that a verdict has been issued. Okay, I'll say it again. A verdict has been issued. And what I heard loud and clear was verdict rendered. And that was at 12, 13 in the afternoon. That brings to a seven. Sevens are about journeying you to your higher self or your God self. So whatever this verdict is, is to get you, both sides of the coin, to your higher vibration. And as I arrive to this, I get the grackle squawk at 12, 14 in the afternoon. Grackle squawks are all about rapid illumination, um, bolt of lightning, and fast pace. So coming to a rapid illumination about someone being on their God journey. Now the God journey could be physical or metaphysical. It could be in this realm or in another realm, the warbler. Okay. So strong emphasis for the warbler there. Interesting, super interesting. And I will not share what I just got, okay? Then I saw in my mind's eye family. So this is heavily about family, but family could be your spiritual family. It could be your community. It could be your um, actual family. So I wrote family or community energy. with the grackle squawk when I saw family so strong emphasis on family and that was so seen at 12 15 in the afternoon so this tells me exactly what the luminous council is judging in a family 12 15 the 12 the 1 2 15 is always devil energy so balancing devil energy in a community or a family okay Oh no lies, the warbler again. Addressing devil energy in a family is what I heard. Proportion and balance, which was the title of the Taurus New Moon reading. New phase, heard at 12, 17 in the afternoon. And the house finch sing as I hear new phase. No, so house finch is all about joy, celebration, exuberance. Okay, tells of a period of celebration. So, may your troubles keep you near the cross, okay? May they show you just how much you need God. May your good days end the way they should. And may your bad days prove that God is good. Not the lyrics, but the way that I heard them, okay? So super, super relevant. Um, and it just lets me know that when you evolve your being, okay? I can sit here in my sovereign power and give a corrective energy read um, directed by the divine and leave that read and that energy exactly where it is. Harbor no ill intent or... Um, ill will for anyone. This is the energy behind this read. Let's me know that there is someone in super raised vibration and then someone in lowliness. But even the one in the super raised vibration prays for God's gentleness 
and correction for the lowliness. This is our message for today, beautiful people. I hope it was helpful. Please don't forget to like and comment. Also, check the description box. You'll find additional helpful information about this read, angel numbers, numerology, additional insight. Until next time, I'm wishing you miracles and blessings. Namaste.